Commission work session of September 4th, 2018, 3.30 p.m. to order at this time. Mr. Clerk, if you can have the roll call. Dominic, Johnson, Present. Jackson, Lynn, Bowman, Cawthorn, Present. H. Watts, Middleton, Here. Atkins, Here. Chavez, Here, Smith, sir. Lewis Johnson. Present. We have a quorum. We have a quorum sorry. Well, I'll stand and I'll ask that Commissioner Lewis Johnson uh, provide us the invocation and Commissioner Mike Middleton lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, oh, how we love you and how we thank you, O oh God. We thank you for this day as we come to you now in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we do the business of the parish, we pray that you would lead us, guide us, and direct us. We pray, O oh God, that all that we say and all that we do would be pleasing in your sight. We ask for wisdom. We ask for camaraderie, O oh Lord, that we might be on one accord. This is our prayer in the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Everyone, please face the flag, render a proper salute, and recite with me the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to thank Commissioner Lewis Johnson and uh, Commissioner Middleton for the invocation Pledge of Allegiance. Lewis, we probably need to save you for Thursday when we're on camera. You do such a good job. You're almost to give Stormy Gage Watts a run for our money on your invocation and prayer. Great job. Um, so we will move on to the next item. But before we do, I had a couple announcements. Um, um, Dr. Wilson said that the Facebook Live has a glitch. It's not anything to do with us. I think it has to do with something with Facebook. So we will not be on Facebook Live today. We also have a glitch on the computers. We will have to be voting by hand today. So all votes will, when I call for your votes, you'll raise your hand. Is that, does that cover everything, Todd? And you probably will need to request to speak. Okay. Uh, because I don't believe any of that is working hmm. at the moment. Nope. Okay. So one day when we pay a lot of money to get these, <laughs> like we did about a year ago, um, maybe we just need to, dish and go back to this the old hand stuff okay. Technology all right is best, sir. yes um, lost. we're moving on to our next item Mr. Hopkins. Uh, i have no agenda additions i have none i see no one on the board for no agenda additions moving on to our next item i have no cards for assisting comments i have is anybody who wish to address the commission must fill out a comment card and forward it to myself or the clerk of commission comments are limited to three minutes um i have none I see none, so we're moving on to our next item. That's the move to visitors. We have Ms. Carrie Henderson uh, with introduction of Beast, Bullying Ends at School Today program. If I might speak for just a minute, sir. Sure. All right, I'd like to thank Ms. Henderson. Come, come on up, uh, Ms. Carrie. And her mom and uh, School Board Representative uh, Danae Locke for being here today. When Commissioner Gage Watts and I were at the Ring the Bell ceremony a couple weeks ago at Captain Shreve, we learned about this program. And as it turned out, we didn't realize that our own Security Henderson, who's been here to sing for us several times and sings all over the place, she's developed a program called Bullion Ends at School Today. We made contact with Danae and, and asked to have her up here today so she can tell about this program. So go ahead, please. Against students today and Beast Club does a number of things at our school we do no one eats alone where um, at lunch when we see um, students that are by themselves um, we can go and talk to them and have like a simple act of kindness towards them um, we also do um, the kindness movement and the kindness movement is November 2nd and basically we just do a bunch of kind things around our school for that whole week or that whole day. We do Back to Blue for our police officers and our law enforcement. We do Say Something Week kind of for Sandy Hook's promise when we see or if we see or hear something about gun violence at our school we need to stand up and say something. Also we do um, Unity Day which is on October 24th. Unity Day is basically like the biggest thing for our uh, crew. Unity Day is October 24th and what we do in Unity Day is our whole school wears orange to um, to represent not to bully. For We also do different uh, projects at our school for that whole week or for that whole day. 
involving with um, bullying and how we can stop and we can solve it. Um, I decided to start this club because when I was in elementary school, I was being bullied for being too short. And I was like, well, I want to help people that are going through the same thing that don't know what to do. And so I, um, I asked my mom if I could start a club at my school. And she was like, yeah, we'll get with your principal about that. And she, she liked the idea. So she's like, how about you start a club? And we started it in actually seventh grade, actually started it at my school. So, yeah. That's great. All right. Great job. Oh, and also, I would like to thank my principal, Miss Guerrero, for letting me start the club. And I would like for all of y'all, I would invite all of y'all for October 24th for Unity Day. If y'all could all wear orange and post a picture for uh, Unity Day. Also, y'all could go follow my Instagram page for my <laughs> club. It's YDMS Beast Crew and Twitter. Same thing. All right. Did you, uh, awesome. awesome. thank you. What, what grade are you in now? Eighth grade. Okay. Well, you did a wonderful job. <coughs> thank you. Uh, Miss Locke, did you want to say something? Were you? No, it's all her. Okay. <laughs> thank you for coming here, and we appreciate you. I know Mr. Commissioner Milliken <coughs> wants to uh, say a few words. I, I, would, I would thank you for being here and for all your hard work and keep up the, the good work, and wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Yes, I, again, always proud of you. No matter what, where I see, you always get the hug, and I, that's very important to me too. And uh, what Mr. Dominic said is, is right. We appreciate what you're doing, and hopefully this will spread throughout the United States and throughout the world. It's a great program. Uh, again, uh, uh, Commissioner Gage Watts and I were at that uh, ring the bell, and we heard this, and we thought, what? And then we, I'm so proud that it's you. And I wish just we had more securities in the world and uh, more of you. But yeah, be vigilant. That's very important for your, not only your own personal safety, but the safety of all your classmates. And I know this is gonna extend on when you go to that big school next year, where it's a cap tree next year. All right, and you're gonna be there too. So that's great, and I know my little uh, neighbor, uh, 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 Nelson, uh, she's there too, and uh, helping you out on that. So that's great. How many of y'all participate in going around to the kids? You can't do it all your own. Oh no, I have a lot, I don't exactly know the number of students, but we have a lot of students getting into the clubs and uh, this, the people that are in our clubs, they're getting their friends to be in it. So, yeah. Wow, okay, that's great. So it's gonna spread, right? Spread, yes. spread, spread. That's great, that's what we need more of. Thank you so much for what you do. And next time we'll have you up here singing as you normally do because you all also do an awesome job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, anybody else? We, uh, well, we had Mr. Smith, uh, David Smith of EAP. He will come on the 17th. Okay, so, um, so do we need to? We don't need to do anything okay. to it. We'll just add it to uh, the 17th. Okay, and moving on to our next item. Reports, administrator report. Mr. or excuse me, Dr. Wilson, how are you yes, doing sir. today? Fine, sir, how are you doing? Commissioners, good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to give you an update on where we are with our internal audit process. So Ms. Bryant is gonna be explaining what's going on in the next phase. Can y'all hand that to Donna? Donna, I'm giving you something that I sent you an email on. Did you see that? I haven't seen it yet. Um, commissioners, uh, you all should have received the survey in, through email um, from the internal audit firm, Postway Nettlefield. If you did not, let us know, and we'll make sure that you get it. Um, the survey opens tomorrow, September 5th, and it closes September 19th. Um, they are asking various the commissioners as well as uh, staff um, to respond to that survey in order to begin their process of conducting the overall risk assessment for the entire entity. Um, they should also be um, starting their internal audit of animal services sometime in September. Um, they are not giving us an exact date because that's how they want it. They don't want us to know when they're I understand. So, um, so when is the survey opens tomorrow and ends it when? It tomorrow and ends September 19th. But there will be a webinar tomorrow also. If you have any questions related to the survey, there will be a webinar in order for them to answer any of those questions. That should also be how to log into that webinar should also be in that email. Okay. If you want a leadership position, we all encourage us all to take part in that. So department directors got notified as well. And other key members of the organization for feedback with this process. 
Okay. You, you should have already received it. If you haven't, let us know. Please let us know. If you haven't gotten an email, please let us know so we can make sure your input is heard. Okay. Anybody got any questions? Uh, Commissioner Lynn? Could you just resend the email to all of sure. us? I don't know. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, have, have you all received yours? I well, I, I I, we got it a few days ago um, via email about the survey. I didn't from, really. It came from Haley. Yeah. From um, but we'll, we'll resend okay, thank it. We'll you. resend it. Yeah. Anybody got any questions for Dr. Wilson? Yeah, I said one other thing, sir. Yes, sir, Dr. Wilson. Just to remind you all, this Friday is the commission budget retreat at 9 a.m. <coughs> at the Speckle Business Center. It's coming Friday at 9 a.m. at the Speckle Business Center. There's a budget retreat with the commissioners. And that's all I have today, sir. Okay. Can I, can I, is that open to the public also? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I didn't understand that. Budget retreat. Thank you. Okay, I got it marked Friday at 9. It'll be at the Swipco yes, Business Center. Yes, sir, yes. Okay. All right, anybody else got anything for Dr. Wilson? I see no cans, so we'll move on to our next item. Next, we move the commission remarks. I want to note that the commission will sit as a tax board will review Thursday, September 6th during the regular session meeting. Uh, our assessor will come over, and that will begin the process for the, our tax review for this year. Okay. Um, anybody got any communicates? Commission remarks. Yeah. LB. Yeah, we had the um, NGO meeting today, um, setting the proposed budget for the NGOs. Uh, so this will be the only meeting we'll have before the proposed budget is printed. Okay. Appreciate it. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I just wanted to remind everybody, well, remind everybody, but in particular the Economic Development Committee, that the Economic Development Committee has their meeting at 2 p.m. on Thursday the 13th to discuss the Economic Development Committee budget. Thank you. 2 p.m. September 13th. 2 p.m. Thursday, September 13th. Do we have a commission meeting that day? I don't see one. No, we don't. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. I had one thing. Um, Robert, can you come up here before I forget? Better get your little notepad. <laughs> um, I'd send you an email, but since you're here, I, I, it's on my mind, I won't forget. I uh, went by the Richard Fleming Park yesterday, I believe. Can we get the sheriffs off there to do West Lake Shore Drive? There's some trash going oh, okay. that way. It's not too bad, but West Lake Shore, and, and in particular right there as you turn, Everybody in the world's got their signs up, and it just kind of looking a little trashy. And then um, okay. on that Meyer Murnish Road toward the Noah Tyson Park, um, and a lot of just rain and cans. If it could do that, get the sheriff to do those two roads for me, please. We'll do it. Put it on the list. And Doug, I got a question for you. After uh, no big deal, just a quick question. If you can hang around after the meeting, okay. Uh, anybody else for communicate? Uh, uh, Commissioner Stephen Jackson. Mr. Clark, Alan Clark. Uh, the uh, and I believe you worked on this last year that issue, and I got some. I received something from either Mark or Stephen, uh, Gene, about the uh, property over there, right off the interstate. Um, could you give me, Could you give me an update on what is it? Are they actually following the permit? Are we really going to allow a three-story structure to be right there in that location? The and, three-story home will be allowed in that location uh, the the violations that were occurring at the location as you will know have been cleared up uh, he had a van and then he had signs on uh, trees and mm -hmm. so forth and we got all those things cleared up but the property is zoned residential okay. and therefore we signed off on allowing him to build a home that's all nothing commercial or of nature so could it be possible maybe for uh maybe not for thursday's meeting but for maybe the next meeting if, if we could take pic if, if i can get some pictures somebody can get some pictures of because i know a lot of people don't have a clue where i'm talking about right because you know it took me a long time to find right 
the location. Right. And it's well, literally off our interstate and folks passing through. So I guess this person could, are they required to have a buffer or, or a privacy fence or is that? And, and we'll look into all of that. I'm sorry, I'm just not remembering no, okay. all the things that he had to do. But we'll look into all those things and mm -hmm. get you some pictures. Yeah, because it's, that's a major thoroughfare of people passing through Shreveport. If we put some <coughs> Henny Penny stick house up there, or they may build an edifice. Uh, that's great. But they may decide one day they want to sleep in the backyard with nothing on. Who knows? Or they may want to hang. I just, I'm very cognizant of what we have on our front as the front door for Shreveport people passing through, uh, coming by. And that, that's, and, you know, and Jeff and I have talked, and I think it may have slipped by the council member in that area as well. He, he didn't seem to be uh, aware of it. I know we had worked on that issue, right. but we were not aware that they had received a permit. Was this sort of gone through the uh, new process to just? The permit was issued, if I'm remembering correctly, prior to the, the UDC. Oh, okay. Okay. But last year they didn't have anything. So were they trying he's to use the band? He's always had plans permit to be for, a, for a house. Okay. What we did was the, the property was in violation mm -hmm. with the signs that he refused to move. Mm -hmm. So we placed a hold on the property mm -hmm. and refused to issue him a permit for his home okay. until the violation was uh, mitigated. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe if we could get those pictures, and I, I would at least like to have it to reference so folks will know exactly where I'm talking about so they could see the very, I guess, the word obscure. It's not a typical location, and I think it's right in between two billboards. Has Lamar said anything about it? Well, you know. Or it's just the, the way the property is subdivided? That's just the way the property is, is subdivided. Okay. And it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it is between uh, two billboards, right. but... Those billboards are non-conforming because they're on residential is on property. Oh, okay. So that opens up another issue. Okay. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Yes, congratulations to you, Mr. Clark. Clark. Thank you for being here today. Uh, uh, Commissioner Jackson, you through? That's it. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. Um, no one else has commissioner remark. Moving on to our next item. President's report. I will reserve that till Thursday and we'll move to our next item. We have no old business. We move to new business. Authorize the introduction of ordinance number 5795 of 2018. Amend the budget estimate revenues and expenditures with the general fund and the amount of three thousand to provide an appropriation to purchase public safety yard signs. So moved to Thursday. Second. I have motion by Commissioner Chavez, second by Commissioner Middleton <laughs> to move ordinance number 5795 to Thursday. Uh, do you have some questions uh, on the board? Uh, you're the maker of the motion. Do you want to explain this briefly? Sure. Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Middleton and I, we tried to do this under the Safe Summer uh, Act, and what we were looking to do was uh, inform the citizens of what was going on, which they are already knew, but just to try to remind them uh, to be aware of the, uh, the surroundings, to lock their car, uh, to try to not give the crimes of opportunity a chance to occur. Um, and it seems like, just like anything in life, the, the better you, or the longer you do something, the better you get at it. The, uh, the people that were going door to door and uh, stealing things out of cars, they were starting to get a little more blatant and actually taking uh, wedges and pumps, which is something that uh, locksmiths use to get into vehicles to unlock them. And they were actually, when they would see valuable items on the car seat, uh, they were actually breaking the cars to steal those items. So uh, what we wanted to do was just allow the citizens uh, to let them know what's going on, try to get the word out, uh, and this was the most cost-effective cost method to do it. Um, I know I personally looked at two local vendors uh, and just asked them for a quote, and I asked uh, Middleton to reach out to another one so we can at least find a, a good, a good uh, low cost, and uh, we just felt that having maybe 50 signs per commissioner, uh, that way you guys could put them throughout your district as you uh, felt the need uh, wherever you thought was more of a heavier crime laden area uh, that we could at least do something uh, we've I've tried many other things uh, in conjunction with the uh, the police and uh, the parish and the sheriff and um, a lot of those things were not able to come to fruition but uh, this was something that I think we could get behind and just let the citizens know uh, hey try to remember to at least lock your car uh, and take your valuables inside the house that's all guys 
uh, Commissioner Lyndon Johnson? Uh, I think right now I, I'm a, kind of a, against this. Um, I think if we want to do something like this, we need to go with billboards and also tag along with the um, the Crime Stoppers um, guy that was here the other day and put together a, a platform or a project to, to really um, educate and inform the, the citizens. I mean, just giving each commission a 50-yard signs, I mean, in some areas, you know, that still won't, that won't reach nearly half or a, a third of the, your uh, constituents that you might need to reach. But at least with billboards, you know, you'll be able to reach more people and you'll have signs out. I mean, those signs will, will see people in high traffic areas that, you know, you can get. Um, when Mr. Ebob is here with uh, the Crime Stoppers, I mean, if we partner with them and, and help them to do this campaign of doing a campaign to try to lower crime, I think we'll be able to get a bigger bang for our dollars than to say just to have these yard signs. And who's to say each commission is going to you know, go out and try to put out uh, 50 yard signs? So uh, right now I'm kind of against it. So that's just my opinion. Commissioner Mike Middleton. <clears throat> crimes rampant all over the city, and the most prevalent crime seems to be these opportunists, which are just opening up the doors, or as Mario says, sometimes they're <coughs> forcing the doors open. What this does, bring it down to the neighborhoods, and the commissioner yourself don't have to be responsible, just other folks. In fact, the, the community liaison officers, the community deputies for the sheriff's office, we uh, give a number of those to them and let them move them around in different locations, because you see the same thing all the time, you just, you just, you know, you see it one or two days and you don't think about it, but if it moves around, and that's why, it's, you know, uh, we don't put our, you know, the crimes everywhere and in our neighborhoods and not only in our commission districts, obviously the city too. So where I'm going with this is that it just gives us more of an opportunity to remind folks as they're coming home, after they're ending their day, they're getting home from work, ready to start their dinner, and be with the family just one more reminder that's close up they don't see that sign that's flashing out there on the highway one in district two or uh in district one anything like that they're at home it's just they're getting home it reminds oh yeah i need to lock my door when i get home to, you know it used to be a thing lock your car take your keys keep a good boy from going bad and that's essentially what this is that was a, a, a crime initiative years ago by mcgruff but it's just another way to bring it into the communities. Communities where the problems are happening, although they do happen in parking lots too. And just in my neighborhood there, uh, in the last year we had a car stolen. I don't know if the keys were left in it. And I'm sorry, three cars. We've had th three cars where the, uh, the wheels have been taken off and left on cinder blocks. But then more prevalent again are the ones these opportunists are just going up. And there's video after video after video every day on Facebook that people are showing, hey, this happened last night in the neighborhood. And it shows people going from door to door to door. So let's try to put it back more on the responsibility of the individual owners to, uh, of the homes, the property, to uh, go ahead and put these up and, uh, and do some, uh, to, to help remind them to do something. It's, hey, it's just, as Mario said, it's an effort for us to try to take an initiative on our own. Uh, I'm not necessarily wanting to, if we, it's PSA time, that's fine. I think that could be supplement to what we're trying to do here, but this is kind of inexpensive. I wish I could find yard signs, political yard signs, this inexpensive <laughs> when it's election time. But it's just something, I think uh, a vote for no on this means that you just rather kick the uh, can down the road and not take any more action. Let's see if we can maybe get somebody to give us some time and put it on the PSA, stuff like that. But I think it's more important to bring it down to the neighborhoods and help every neighbor remind the other neighbors, hey, did you lock your car tonight? And I think that's where we need to be going with this. Thank you. Commissioner Stephen Jackson. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a substitute motion to uh, re recommend this to the uh, NGO committee, and I'll speak to it if I can get a second. Second. Thank you. Yeah. Um, one, um, there I have several questions about it, uh, even though it's a small amount. Okay. Even though it's a small amount, it did not go through the committee process. And uh, we've had a knack here 
about certain issues that come up that didn't go through the process. And so, uh, first, I'm concerned about the process. Uh, two, uh, I'm concerned about what message does it send if uh, one neighborhood, let's say one commissioner decides they don't need signs, and another commissioner has 100 signs, what message does it send when you have uh, these signs everywhere and folks coming to visit town, it, it, must, it may give a sign, a signal that something is going on in that particular area of town. Um, my other issue is if we're going to go down this road, would it not be better to do as we do with the spay and neuter program to partner with a nonprofit? Uh, I know the Shreveport, North Shreveport Business Association uh, is heavily vested in helping out with certain aspects of it. So I'm not, I'm not 100% opposed to the idea. Uh, but I do think that there are some things that uh, we can discuss and have conversations about so that we don't uh, get into what I call uh, unintended consequences of doing it. It seems like an effort that's, um, it seems like an effort that's, you know, worthwhile, I'd assume. Um, but I wouldn't want us to travel down a road uh, and then we get to a point where we say, oh, well, we should have thought about this or we should have thought about that. I don't necessarily know that I'll be going out to putting uh, signs out about cars because the issue in my district is not necessarily people breaking into cars, it's people kicking in doors, it's people, so can I get my signs to say, you know, don't kick in doors, don't kick in doors or bolt up your door, or can I get my sign to say, hand in your gun, that kind of thing, so um, what fits for one area may not fit for all, and I just think it could warrant a little bit more in-depth discussion, and unlike some ideas that I bring, I'm at least open to having uh, some substantive discussion about it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm on the board, and I got then I got, um, I think LB, you're back up, and then I got Chavez. That's on the substitute um, motion. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have some of the same concerns that, that you, Stephen Jackson, do. I mean, my first question was, is this the best way to get our bang for the buck? Is there a better way to do it? Can we do some type of pu public service announcement? Um, you know, you know, are there any free billboards that they would give us? And then Commissioner Jackson hit on the same exact thing that I was going to say. And you know, does it open up for us to be back here in a month? And Commissioner Jackson, just for example, making a motion to spend another three thousand dollars to do signs to say "Don't kick in the door" or July 4th come around, I say let's do signs happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, and I'm assuming what we are talking about is those yard signs, those political corrugated classic that. signs. And to me, they, you know, a lot of people put them in there for, when we're running for office, but I just was telling Robert Glass, you know, they get everywhere and they're, I just don't, you know, sometimes that can be a little trashy. I, I, you know, that's, that's my concern about it. But I am open, and um, I, I, I'm like you. I don't know if the NGO committee is the best place to go, but I think it does need to go to committee at least somewhere to study it. Or it could be a committee of the pre president's preference. My yeah. way That's where I was kind of thinking about <clears throat> Okay, uh, Commissioner Lyndon Johnson, you're back up. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, one thing I wanted to also say, too, is, you know, Cattle Parish right now has a bigger problem than – uh, locking your cars. Uh, if you look at the, the crime that we've had, the, the senseless killings, and just to say that we address only the, the breaking of the cars but not the killings, that sends a bad signal out. Um, and I think, you know, where I grew up at, you know, you know to, to lock your car doors because if you didn't, your car might be gone the next morning. So uh, this is nothing new where I grew up at and I know quite a few other commissioners, this is nothing new at all to you guys. Um, so I, I just have a problem with that. I mean, the, right now the state has a PSA about checking your back seat. I mean, it's been noticed and it's on I-49, it's on I-20, um, just reminding people to check the back seat when they get out of the cars. And that's basically if you have a child, I mean an infant, you know, somebody that you, know, you don't want to lock up in the car and leave them in there and then you come back and they might be deceased. So, I mean, the PSA stuff does work. Um, I just think that yard signs is not really what we want to do. 
And then is this locking your car and take the keys more important than some senseless murders or, you know, instead of shooting, walk away? I mean, there's a whole bunch of different slogans we could come up with to try to deter some crime in, in Caddo Parish other than, you know, this. And I just I just think we just need to relook at it, send it to a committee of your choice and then go from there because I don't I don't really want to move on it like this. Okay, uh, Commissioner Chavez. Uh, thank you, President. <clears throat> First off, um, the best bang for the buck is obviously this. Uh, I've looked at a billboard uh, and what we could obtain 600 messages for throughout the neighborhoods uh, would cost us on one billboard that would have to be strategically placed throughout the parish and would only be able to see who drives by it. Obviously, the, the intent is not just to put it on one billboard, it's to put this message and bring it home in the neighborhoods. Um, and of course, we're not sending the message to the criminal. Uh, we're actually trying to inform uh, the good citizen, hey, don't forget to do this, because of course you're not gonna put a sign out there and tell the criminal, hey, don't go kicking in doors. They're, they're not gonna care about that. Obviously, they're gonna break the law regardless. Uh, and I'm very open to any, everybody around this horseshoe coming up with a solution. I just know that we have to have a solution or we have to at least start a conversation and start throwing suggestions out there to say, hey, look, what about this or, or what about that? Uh, so this was my attempt uh, at the 12 of us coming together to say, hey, this is something that we could do low cost um, for a minimal amount of effort and work. Uh, and, you know, I, I have heard a couple comments about, you know, I, we don't know if every commissioner is going to get out there and, and, and work. Hey, that's fine. If, if you give me a call and you hand me your 50 signs and you tell me where to walk around the neighborhood and put them out, I don't mind a little hard work myself. Uh, or if there's neighborhood associations you want to hand them to or, or, or captains in the neighborhood. Uh, and likewise, um, I've, I've heard the comment, well, you know, we don't want to put these out because it's going to promote that our neighborhood is bad, that it's crime-ridden. I get that as well, but, but that's what it is right now. Uh, when every day I look on, on my community Facebook page and I see another car was either stolen, vandalized, or, or theft, something has to happen. And I, I'm victim of leaving my car unlocked one night and somebody took stuff out of there. That was my own fault. I should have learned better. But every now and then we're human beings, and that's why pencils have erasers. We forget stuff when we make mistakes. So I, I want to try to help the good citizens of Cattle Parish on their way home that they remember, hey, maybe I need to do this, maybe I need to lock my car door, uh, in an effort to try to lower the crimes of opportunity. And like I said, I'm, I'm definitely willing to throw this into a committee, and we can do just like we do everything else in government and study it till the cows come home and waste a lot more time and money. But we have to do something. And this was a small low cost attempt with minimal effort where we could at least start telling people to try to be more proactive with their own things. That's all. Okay. Um, Commissioner Cawthorn. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, thank you, Chairman. I just want to chime in and first of all applaud uh, Commissioner Chavez and Commissioner Milliton for the desire to do such and their idea. On the, on the surface, it's, it's an excellent idea. Uh, but I would, I would be on board with us not studying it to death, but the, the effort that you guys are trying to make to make it a collective effort that's reflexive of the 12 district that we represent. What's needed in District 12 might not necessarily be needed in District 6 and vice versa. So being able to go to the committee, us sitting down, we could do some radio uh, PCAs, the signs, but us being able to sit in, in the committee, we can take what you guys have started with and morph it to something that's customized to uh, Kettle Parish. So again, I want to thank you guys for your idea and your effort to even put this forward. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, no one else is on the board. So our first um, substitute motion by Commissioner Jackson and was seconded by Commissioner Matthew Lynn. Is it to send it to the NGO committee? Is or right? which are, uh, committee or the president's Okay, um, so it'll be, I would suggest send it to the NGO committee. So, um, excuse me, long range committee. Um, so the motion will be to send this to Long Range Committee. If you're in favor of that, please vote. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine in favor. He raised. And against, I have one. Commissioner Linda Johnson has voted no. So that passes. It'll go to Long Range Committee. 
Um, so, and, and I think everybody is agreeable to that, except for Commissioner John Johnson. So we'll move on to our next item. Authorize the introduction of ordinance number 5796 of 2018 to authorize the pressure administrator to execute permanent utility servitude on a portion of lot 27 North Freeport Industrial Park, unit number one. Advance. It's been moved Second. by Commissioner Lyndon Johnson, seconded by uh, Vice President Cawthorn. All in favor of moving this to Thursday, please raise your hand. That passes unanimously. Moves to Thursday. Moving to our next item. Authorized resolution number 60 of 2018 supporting that Act Work Ready Community Initiative. I have a motion by Commissioner Middleton. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Adkins to move this to Thursday. No one's on board. I will. Commissioner Jackson. Well, I just wanted to know, is this the one, is this the same thing that uh, Interfaith Together Louisiana has been talking about, or is this something different? This, this is out of uh, NLEP and Angie White. Angie White. Okay, White all right, I thought it was NLEP. NLEP. Okay. And the intention is for Angie to be here on Thursday. Okay. Present it. Appreciate it, thank you. Will she be on as an, uh, she's she on come? as a speaker, we'll approve her as a speaker also. Okay. It comes later. Okay, Commissioner Lindy Johnson. Once we're in global and advanced uh, resolution number 60, resolution number 61, the authorization of the ABO appeal case, the authorization of Ms. Angie White, the authorization of Mr. Cedric Johnson. Second. The authorization of the special uh, resolution of resolution. Okay, so I have a motion by Commissioner Lyndon Johnson, seconded by Commissioner Jackson to englobo and forward move to Thursday resolution number uh, starting with number 6061, the appeal case, uh, Miss Angie White as a visitor, uh, Mr. Cedric Johnson, and also a special resolution concerning uh, Mike Spence. Uh, is there anybody on board who wishes to speak? I do, I have one question. Um, can someone tell me what the appeal issue is or what's going on with that? Yes, sir. Um, what happened, we had a Miss Kathleen Adele Jones apply for an ABO card. It was denied by the sheriff's office. Under, the, under our rules, they has to, she has to come for an appeal to this body to at least hear her comments and someone from the sheriff's department. And so that'll decide whether you want to overturn the sheriff's. So that appeal will be held this Thursday? It will. And if we vote to uphold, I guess you'd have to file a civil suit with the cattle district? I believe she'd yes. have 30 days to file. Is that correct, Donna? That's correct. Okay. All right, anybody else got any questions about these issues of Englobo? Please vote. Everybody raise your hand if you're for this at this time. This passes unanimously. And now we're down to communication committee reports. Is that correct, Mr. Clerk? Yes, sir. Does anybody else have anything for communicates or committee reports? Commissioner Stephen Jackson? Yes, uh, Attorney Frazier. Um, just the, have we any, moved anything forward on the uh, that Red River Waterway Commission mm -hmm. or heard anything back or, do, or did we need to do it over? It was my understanding the last time you all discussed it in session, you all wanted to add something to it, in okay. which case you would need to pass a resolution covering everything that you wanted to add to the request. Okay, so can we, can we get that for the next work session? Sure. And I'll be glad to put my name on it. Um, if you could send it out to, uh, send it out, because I can't remember <laughs> verbatim what was in that one, but send it out to everybody to see what we like to discuss, because I'm sure there there's some more to probably add and request okay. onto it. Appreciate it. And Donna, I had sent you an email last week, I think you were gone, that basically said, could you send us a copy of the statutory authority <coughs> about, you know, who appoints okay. and what authority we have. Uh, I think Commissioner um, Chavez and I were kind of communicating text about that, but if you, I know Commissioner Jackson would be interested, so just go ahead and send that to everybody too when you send this other document, if that's okay. Yes, okay. And um, I first saw Commissioner Lynn. Well, I got a question based on okay. what y'all talking about. Are, are y'all talking about the appointment that we did that didn't get that's correct. received? I mean, but that's not the first time mine we made it. Yeah, mine is different. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's yours about? Oh, mine is about us. Probably. Mine is more about the, the the level of funding that we give, and can we opt to opt out? I believe is there an option for us to opt out, or what can the funds be used for? 
can we use those funds to purchase property? But I think some people want to add to it or maybe develop a separate proposal. But I think we discussed holding off the until we at least looked at the previous one. The initial request was about what the funds could be used right, for. Right, okay. The opt-in out, I believe, is new. New, okay. And then any other items would be new right. as well. So we discussed holding off to send sort of one deal or get a sort of suggestion on what the body wanted to, to send down there if they had to be separate or just lump them all as one big thing. Okay, because I was getting confused about the other I'm deal. I'm sorry. Because that piece of it, I mean, that's, that piece has been the same all along. We make a recommendation, it goes to the Senate, then the governor. The governor can then either accept our recommendation or make his own recommendation. And that's basically what he did, he made his own recommendation. Commissioner Matt, are you done? I'm done. It's Commissioner Matthew Lynn? It's my understanding that the governor can appoint whoever he wants. However, the senators for the area have to approve that appointment. And so I don't think it's over till the senators approve it. Also, um, Attorney Frazier, when was it that we voted in committee asking legal to find out what the money from the Red River Waterway Commission could be used for? When, long long time ago. ago was that? A year? No, it hadn't been a year. Um, it was probably, this I year. would want to say in May. In May? And when did we vote asking y'all to not find out the answer to that? You did not vote. Then how come that hasn't happened? Because it was my understanding that you discussed that you wanted, you discussed changing the letter. You have since discussed changing what you wanted. Did we vote on the change? No, you have not. When did we discuss that change? That was going to be in July. If, um, so in July served. of this year, we discussed changing that? That is my recollection. When, at what meeting? Um, I'm not sure. I would have to look at the minutes from both meetings. Will you find out when we discuss that? Because I don't remember ever seeing a vote on that discussion. And all I remember is a vote asking y'all to do something. Thank you. Okay. Commissioner Chavez. Uh, thank you, President. <clears throat> I don't see uh, one of them. Who are you looking for? Uh, looking for Tim Weaver. He's not oh, out there. He's happy uh, birthday, Robert, Tim. Robert. Tim, happy birthday. Where are you? <laughs> well, Robert, uh, Robert, they were going to get with the apartment complex on Rutledge uh, to try to get them to clean out the canal next to it. I don't know if you heard about this, but Tim's on it. Okay. Um, any progress on that yet? Not yet. I just know that they just found it. Stuff? Robert, what was what? You know, if there's a... Robert, wait a minute. Wait, you know, we're trying to pick you up on the microphone. We're trying to record it. That's why you need to sit up on the front row. You're trying to hide from us all the time. I just wanted to uh, <laughs> check and see who... You know, if there's an actual uh, easement there, who owns it, things like that, and uh, I don't think they've Chuck's already gotten back with everything yet, but they just they just started looking at that. Okay, thank you, Robert. Uh, and then lastly, <clears throat> uh, Rusty Scarborough, he he gets uh, owed a, a gratitude. This is I know we all get weird calls. Uh, I actually had a call from a citizen that had an owl in a dog kennel this weekend. Well, an owl. <laughs> in a dog kennel uh, oh, with a broken wing and they said we, you know, we don't know what to do with it uh, so uh, Dr. Wilson and, and Randy um, reached out to these guys and they got Rusty and Rusty went over to the citizen's house and picked it up uh, so the citizen was pretty grateful um, they had no idea what to do the owl we, I know we always get negative press when it comes to animals so mm -hmm. the fact that owl got to the veterinarian to get work and everybody was happy was rather nice so it's uh, at rehab right now that's awesome thanks Randy and thanks Rusty yep I was gonna say, you know, we had Rusty here about a month ago with the eagle, yeah. and then the very next, about well, within a week, I was on kill, and he came in right after uh, on kill talking about the bats at the baseball field at the. Uh, it's far stadium. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, so I started to name him. He's Batman now. <laughs> so, uh, tell him I'm calling him Batman. Yeah, he, great, his great. knowledge on that, or you he's know, the owls, the eagles, is, he's very very we probably do not realize what we have out there with him right yes sir so um yes, sir. thank you rusty um we're still on communicates and committee reports i believe does anybody else have anything else uh have no other uh, uh, just commissioner jackson i'm sorry are we uh national night out is coming up are we going to plug into that this year or how are we going to do that
there this year. I know we've been having discussion about it. Yeah. Typically, community is in the rural areas. Anticipated in that. Okay. So okay. we'll have to see what the media puts will be for that. Okay. Uh, I need to get with Henri because I have some ideas. Okay. Um, if he's here. No, I have some Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I take all He's the yard signs. <laughs> I take all the yard signs I can get these days, Commissioner Chapman. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, we're all That's ready. it. Thank you. Sir. Okay, um, citizens' comments, late arrivals. We do have one card. I have a Jeffrey. Is it Jackson? Is that right? That's what he yesterday. Jeffrey Jackson. Is that right? He's in the room, sir. <coughs> I guess uh, uh, Jeffrey from uh, Briarwood Apartments, Shreveport, Louisiana, is here. Okay. All right. He's not here. Moving on to our next item. Next, we move the consent agenda. Move to adjourn. Second. Mm -hmm. Adjourn. <coughs> you need this card, uh, <laughs> I need to keep the card. Here,